Well, as COVID-19 infection rates continue to rise across the country, the CDC is calling on everyone to stay put over the holidays. AAA says that likely won't happen. 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey is live near McCarran Airport with a look ahead at travel expectations in the coming Thanksgiving week. Sean. Yeah, Kelsey AAA still expects millions of people to travel for Thanksgiving uh, gatherings this year. The main difference, they expect a significant drop in air travel in favor of people hitting the roads. AAA says that they are projecting air travel could be halved when compared to 2019 and total travel dropped by about 10% from last year to around 50 million people. This is the U.S. tops the 12 million mark in total recorded coronavirus cases less than a week from reaching 11 million. Numbers like that combined with increased travel restrictions and advisories across the U.S. have simply made it too difficult for people like Ruth Furman to safely travel between states. I had gotten really creative. I had a hotel room booked. I had a situation figured out and I thought I was going to be really smart and really safe. But I realized that it just wasn't a good idea to leave town right now. Yeah, AAA says that if you do travel, make a plan, pack food and water to cut down on stops, check hotels for safety protocols, and check ahead with states and counties to ensure travel restrictions don't block your path. Dozens of California, Utah, and Arizona counties have restrictions in place, and California, Oregon, and Washington state have all requested that you quarantine for two weeks after entering their borders. AAA expects that the main or the peak day for travel to be on Wednesday of this coming week. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.